All right, guys. Um, you know, you go back and you look at the game, and uh, you know sometimes it's hard to see the forest through the trees. But there were some good things that were done in the game. You know, I thought we improved in terms of our run defense overall. Uh, you know, the quarterback had the one thirty-eight yard scramble that we can't allow to get out of there. But um, you know, when they handed the ball to the runner, they basically averaged about three yards per carry. So I thought the run defense was better. I thought our defensive line overall played better in the game. I think Pete Warner helps our defense out a lot, just in terms of you know alignment assignment, uh, things of that nature. Uh, the things that you know we have to improve on is we got to eliminate you know the explosive plays. Um, those have, those have been something that have that, that's hurt us throughout the season. So we've got to do a better job of eliminating those things. We got to make some make some plays when we have some opportunities to make some plays. You know, there's a couple of sack opportunities that I think, you know, we had one potentially get a safety there towards the end of the game. Um, another one where we let the quarterback get out. I thought there was a couple times where we had opportunities to get the ball out of the quarterback's hand in the pocket, um, which could have been big plays in the game. Um, and then, you know, obviously the, the the dropped interception there by Pete down on the goal line. I mean, those are just a handful of plays that, you know, we, we've got to be able to make those plays when we when we get those when we get those opportunities. Offensively, you know, um, we actually did some good things. I thought we ran the ball better in the game. Uh, I think we averaged five and a half yards a carry or something like that running the football. So I thought that was that was better in the game. We had, you know, fifteen. You know, 10 plus yard plays in the game, which is the most that we've had in any game this season. So there were some good things. The the issue that we've got to get corrected is um, we've we've got to be more consistent. You know, we 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 do some good things, and then like offensively, we'll move the ball, um, and then as we get to that midfield area, we'll have you know some penalties and things that are going to knock us out uh, and knock us into longer yardage situations, and and we're not able to overcome those right now. So. The consistency um, in our play, uh, the details in our play, uh, I think those are the areas that we've got to continue to work to improve on. So Alvin, after the game, mentioned details. It's like what you said. I mean, who's that on? Is that the players? Coaches? Well, I think it's a combination. You know, I think I think us as coaches, we got to be more detail oriented in terms of what we're teaching, um, how we're wanting guys to do things holding guys accountable to doing those things, the little things the right way. Um, and and then, then it's incumbent upon the players to to focus in on those details and be able to execute those details. So I think it's a combination of things, yeah. Yeah, when you see these penalties, especially the pre-snap penalties, is that something you're saying in practice that they just carried over the game? Or? Uh, no, um, you know, in particular in this last game, you know, we, we had one pre-snap, you know, false start penalty. Um, where you know we got a little got a little messed messed up on the cadence, you know everybody kind of got off on the cadence and and the center was a little late with the snap. Uh, that was the one um, pre-snap penalty. I think the bigger issue for us really kind of boils down to the technique um, in in our blocking. We're, we're we're getting our hands outside the framework way too much, and, and I think that's an area that we've got to improve on. That that's where some of those holding calls came from. What's your reaction to a lot of the criticism that Nathan Shepard has been getting over the personal foul on Justin Herbert? Yeah, I, th I think it's I think it's um, not accurate. Um, you know, here's a guy that's trying to wrap the quarterback up. He's on the ground. He has no idea whether the quarterback has the ball or not. He's just trying to bring the quarterback down to the ground, you know. So there was nothing malicious about that play. It's a guy that's that's uh, you know that's trying to make a play. I went back and looked at that play again after you know seeing the comments, and 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 I don't I don't agree with that. Any updates on some of the injured guys? Quite a few. Um, well, I, I guess probably two updates. You know, Bub Means has a high ankle sprain, so that's going to be a, a time missed um, injury. I'm not sure, you know, exactly what the, um, you know, we had, um, you know, Lattimore with a hamstring, Ken, Kendra with a hamstring. Not sure exactly what that's going to be yet. Um, Derek Carr had a throwing session again today. Looked good in the throwing session. I would expect him to be back out at practice on Wednesday. 
and then we'll go from there and see, you know, what his availability is for this week. But I'm optimistic about it. Is John Johnson in concussion protocol? I believe he was being checked for a concussion. I think, um, well, anytime you're checked during the game, you have to come back in today, and and you know, but it's not the typical protocol. Um, you know, where they're out and they have to go through multiple steps, you know, uh, both, uh, you know, he was asymp asymptomatic today when he came in, so um, he's he's cleared and good to go. Are you pretty optimistic that Derek can go Sunday or just count? I am optimistic, yes. I know you mentioned inconsistency, but can you think of any other explanation for it? You get three of your best offensive players back. You averaged 5.6 yards per rush. You had, I think you said, a season high in 10 plus yard plays, and the offense only comes up with six points. Well, part of that is is penalties. When you have penalties that put you back at second and 19, you know, and we, we were not able to overcome those things. You know, I, I think, you know, Kendra had a nice run, you know, down in their territory. You would get the ball down on the 25 yard line, it's going to be first and 10, and ends up being. You know, like second and 19 from the 45 yard line, 50 yard line, something like that. So, um, th those are things that for for us right now, the, those are those are hard to hard to overcome. And I think in particular when when you've got young quarterbacks, um, you know, it's hard to overcome those type of mistakes. I was going to ask you that exact thing. When you have a young quarterback, you see some of the inconsistencies. Is that just? Part of the growing part of the growing process of playing that position, I think it's the hardest position uh, to play. Um, there's so much that's on your plate. There's so many decisions that you got to make, um, and so um, you know when you get put in those situations, you know as a as a as a young quarterback, I think that's 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 putting a lot on on those guys to have to be able to overcome those things. And so, um, and and look, I think. You know, we we've dealt with some of the growing pains of 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 that with the with with the young quarterbacks, and yet you see a lot of things that they they do well. Uh, both of the, both those players, I thought, did some good things in the game, uh, but you also see some some uh, some inconsistency and some young mistakes. Yeah, the, the in particular, I was thinking of the synchronicity with the receiver and the quarterback, maybe just, you know a little bit off, right? Yeah, yeah, and that's time that's time on task, you know. Um, you know, those guys haven't gotten a ton of reps, you know, with with all of those guys, and and we've had some some guys in and out of the lineup at the receiver position. So, um, you know, that 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 adds to the to the uh, to the timing issues. How would you evaluate in three games now with Spencer how he's played? Young developmental quarterback that I'm encouraged and excited about, uh, but but not quite there yet. You know. Uh, he needs he needs a little more time in the oven. You know what I mean? A little more time to uh, to grow. A little more time to to, to develop, um, and that that'll come. But uh, um, and I would say the same about Jake Hayner. I, I think you know him coming in. He's done some good things. He's worked extremely hard. I thought there were some things that I was encouraged about, and yet. Um, you know, it hadn't been hadn't been quite what we needed it to be to, to be able to win some games. There's Alvin talked about players having a meeting. Is that something you'd like to see as far as them taking responsibility and accountability? Well look, I mean obviously you want your players to, to be accountable to what we need to do to be able to win. I mean I think um, you know this is this is this is not a player thing, it's not a coach thing, it's a it's an us thing. And I think we all together have to do a better job. Anything on the, the miss that Blake had on his field goal? I think I think he just he just pushed it, you know, and that you know said it in the team meeting today. That gets back to the consistency, right? I mean, you know, every other kick was you couldn't put it any more down the middle, you know, uh, and that one he just pushed, and so gets back to when you have an opportunity to make a play, we've got to be able to make the play, and so um, I think those are the things that we're dealing with right now. You mentioned yesterday about getting in and out of the huddle with the urgency there, things like that. That's something you were going to kind of look back at over the course of this week. Now that you've gotten a little bit more time to take, did you see anything different there than what you thought you saw during the game? Well, you don't really see it necessarily on the tape, right. um, you know, but I know what I saw in person. And, and I think, um, I think we got to do a better job from a coaching standpoint of, you know, 
making sure our guys know, you know, exactly where to be aligned and exactly, you know, what to do on each and every play. I think we can help them uh, in that regard. Um, and then, you know, I think, you know, it kind of gets back. That's another part of being the youthful quarterback, you know, the communication in the huddle, all those things, making sure guys are on the right page. Um, you know, and then when it's not, how do we get it fixed? You know, I think those are all things that you you have to grow and you have to learn from. So is it safe to say that if Derrick does return this week against the team, which y'all already seen, and uh, guys that did come back this week as well, like penalties would be less than? Yeah, I mean, I think that would be that would be our expectation. That would be our hope. I think that's what we got to be, you know, planning to clean up. Yeah. But whether Derek plays or not really doesn't have a whole lot to do with you know our fundamentals and technique in terms of blocking and making sure we get our hands inside and all all those kinds of things. Was uh, Marquez Valdez Scantling close? Did you all just not feel comfortable? Uh, yeah. Look, I mean, you know, there's a lot of decisions that have to be made. You know, we felt really good about it. EQ. He's been he's been a part of the program, and and I thought he went in and played well. Um, you know, in particular, and what he did in the run game in terms of his blocking, his effort. Uh, the ball really didn't come his way, but uh, but I thought he did some good things in the game. And so, um, you know, we'll evaluate where we're at this week, um, and and we'll continue to try to get uh, Marquez, you know, ramped up and and uh, and ready to go. No, Rico Payton during the preseason was a guy that stood out on the defensive side. But what have you seen from him, or how would you highlight sort of what he's done on the special team side? He seems to stand out. Yeah, look, I think he's done he's done some good things. I think you know, like a lot of these young players that we continue to talk about, there's a lot of good things that you see, and yet there's some young mistakes that uh, you know we've got to try to you know eliminate. But I, I would say overall, what we've gotten out of Rico Payton. Um, from a special team standpoint, when he's had to go in and play on defense, you know, I think that's all been pretty positive in my mind. How did Kool Aid do? Um, there was a lot of good, and there was some some not so good. You know, I think, um, you know, he gave up the one fade ball where where the guy, you know, made the play. Um, he didn't play the coverage exactly right on the on the one deep ball, uh, you know, down their sideline. Um, but look, there, there, there were some, there were some positive moments in the game in terms of how he played. But I think, you know, he would look back at that game and, and um, tell you the same thing. I, I think there's some things that he needs to do better, and I think he'll be better as he gets to play more. The, the yards after the catch, the goal, I think leading the league right now defensively, allowing most. Is there anything in particular? Well, look, I, just missed tackles or. Um, yeah, well, look, we missed a tackle on the sideline there on the on the long 60 yard, you know, touchdown play. I mean, obviously, anytime you you give up um, a lot of yards after catch, you know, angles and tackling um, usually have a have a have a have a part in that. And so, um, yeah, I think we got to do a better job of taking angles to the ball. Yeah, I mean, that's never really been an issue. Before. No, it through the, through the years. It's, no, it hasn't. It hasn't. Um, but it's it's an area that we've got to improve on now. All right, guys. Thanks.